Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the cheapest way to get a domain. Now, in my lifetime, I've probably bought at least 15 to 20 domains. I've set up so many different websites and being super frugal, this has been the best way to buy and set up domains. All the links to the resources we talk about in this video are going to be down below in the description. First, I want to start off with why you guys absolutely need a domain if you're trying to build a web presence. First reason that it makes it so much easier for your customers to find you. The last thing you want to tell someone when they ask you what your website is, is tell them, hey, my website is, you know, wix.com slash Charlie Chang or something like that. That looks way less professional than something like charliechang.com. And you guys would be surprised at how cheap it is to form a domain. Like we're talking around $10 per year. Your website is going to be a crucial piece of your web presence going beyond social media media and all that other stuff. And it's a place that you can really list your services, allow people to know who you are and be able to drum up customers that way. Another great reason to have your own domain is that you can actually have an email address with that domain. For example, let's say that I own charliechang.com. Not only do I have that web domain charliechang.com that people can go to, I also can actually set up an email that is like blank at charliechang.com. This can be very useful if you are emailing your customers a lot and it just makes it look a lot more professional. Overall, I think it's just one of the most affordable branding tools out there. And that's why I have bought so many domains in my life. So now I'm going to show you guys exactly what platform I use to buy all my domains and how you guys can as well. All right. So if you guys use the link down below in the description, it's going to take you to this exact page on Namecheap. This is my favorite platform when it comes to getting domain names. And yeah, just like it says in the name, Namecheap, it's very, very cheap. So what you'll basically do is you'll come here and what you're going to do is under the register domain name to start area, you're going to you know type what domain you want to get. This is basically going to see if this domain is available. So for example, let's say I want to get Charlie Chang YouTube, right? I'm going to search here and you'll notice I did not type in .com. There's no need to. It's actually going to show you all the different results. So you guys can see right here, Charlie Chang YouTube.com is available. It costs $9.58 per year. Very, very cheap. And sometimes I'll even have codes that make it even cheaper. And there are different endings. So there's Charlie Chang YouTube.watch, Charlie Chang YouTube.net, .org and .ai. Beyond that, there are a ton of other ones like .io. That's a very popular one. .co. That's also a very popular one. And yeah, beyond those two, I'd say I would try to stay away from some of the other ones, right? Unless you're, for example, in the UK, then you guys can use something like this. But yeah, .co, .io, and .com. Those are going to be my three favorite website endings. I try and stay away from .net. It just does not look as professional. And so yeah, those are the three that I like. Basically, what you guys will do is you'll keep searching searching different names until you find one that's available. And you guys will notice that a lot of the names out there are actually taken. For example, if I look up computer nerd, right? Computer nerd, that's probably going to be taken. Let's see. Yeah. .io is taken. .info is taken. .ai is available. .com is of course taken. Computernerd.co is a premium domain, meaning it was purchased by someone else, but it's actually available for sale. And you can see the sale price is $4,840. And then it renews at about 30 bucks per year. But yeah, any name that's actually available, it's going to be extremely cheap, around $10 or less per year for most of them. If you guys don't really know what domain you want to use, but you're open for suggestions, you can actually come here to auctions and you can see these are all the domains that are currently you know, on auction. It's going to show the current price. It'll show how many bids there are. And it's going to show how many days are left in the auction. So if any of these look good to you, you guys can actually click bid now and submit your bid. There's also a thing called generator and you can actually come here, enter in keywords that are related to your brand. So let's say I have a YouTube brand. So I'll type in YouTube creator and we can actually generate and see what shows up. These of course are going to be some of the more premium ones. It's just a really cool tool to give you some inspiration for picking your own domain. But yeah, overall, let's say I want to go with Charlie Chang YouTube. I'll come here. I'm going to select the .com one, add to cart. From here, you can actually see you can add an SSL. I do recommend having that. You guys can actually have hosting on Namecheap as well. It's basically an all-in-one platform. I have built websites using Namecheap. And you can also have a business email. That's what I talked about earlier. And that would allow me to be like charlie at charliechangyoutube.com. But for now, let's say I want to stick with this. I've added the things I want want to my cart and I'm going to go here to check out. Here you'll be able to see the things that I have, you know, in my cart under domain registration. You can also select the number of years you want to do. I normally just do one year and then I click auto renew and that's going to auto renew every single year for me. Namecheap comes with free domain privacy forever. So that's really cool. You can also use premium DNS if you want, but that's not needed. And then since I did buy the SSL certificates, I can select the duration here. I'll just leave it as one 
one year. After that, I'll click confirm order. And it's going to have you create an account. So you'll put in your username, password, first and last name, email address. You guys can uncheck this if you want and then click create account and continue. But yeah, overall, super, super easy. Namecheap is one of my favorite platforms when it comes to registering domains as well as hosting. And for me, it's just been extremely, extremely reliable. The prices are very, very low, which is definitely something that I prioritize and care about. And yeah, just so easy nowadays to find and register a domain name. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Like I mentioned earlier, all the resources that we talked about are going to be down below in the description. And I just want to leave you guys with this. Having a domain is one of the easiest and most affordable branding tools that you guys can do. Best of luck on building your own business. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated at giving you guys free guides and tutorials to help you start your business. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.